Okay, let's find the greatest common factor for 15 and 20. So the greatest common factor, that's also called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. These are the same things. I like GCF, so let's go with that. So what we'll do, we're going to find factors for 15 and 20. So we're going to find all the factors. Then we'll find the common factors between the two and then just select the greatest. That's the GCF. So for 15, we could multiply 1 times 15, that equals 15, or 3 times 5, that equals 15, but those are the factors for 15. For 20, we could multiply 1 times 20, that equals 20, 2 times 10, and 4 times 5. All of those equal 20. So if we look for the factors that are common between 15 and 20, we see 1, so 1 goes into 15 evenly, 20 evenly, what else? Looks like 5 is the greatest common factor between 15 and 20. So that's it. 5. That's the GCF for 15 and 20. You could use other methods like prime factorization for this, but for small numbers, this is usually easiest. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.